teachers are on the path to becoming obsolete. Technology is starting to reach a point where self-learning, artificial intelligence, may overtake many jobs, since there are just some things that a human can't do, which a computer can. To understand my claim, I must first start by explaining artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is defined as the theory and evolution of computer-based systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence. People seem to think that such a technology could lead to our destruction or to our salvation, yet the technology is nowhere close to achieving that. For example, raise your hand if you own an iPhone. Well, Siri is an example of a pretty complicated AI. And AI can be found in much simpler things, through recommending you products on Amazon or showing you other cheesy 80s songs to listen to on Spotify. The most basic form of artificial intelligence is classified under machine learning. This is the type of artificial intelligence that you would regularly see in the world around you. Machine learning is when a computer-based system teaches itself to be better at something by doing that same thing over and over and over again. Dota 2 is a very popular game, with a total prize pool of 25 million US dollars for winning their world championship. How does this connect to AI? Well, a company supported by Elon Musk called OpenAI encoded a machine learning software that defeated many of the greatest players of all time in Dota 2 in just a couple of weeks. Many people who have been practicing for more than 14 hours a day over decades were defeated by machine learning encoded in just a couple of weeks. And that's just one of the many examples of how AI can be amazing. While there are some very basic forms of artificial intelligence, many corporations like Google and Facebook have started working on their very own complex artificial intelligence systems. For example, Google's AI, DeepMind, has taught itself to talk in a more human way than any other computer before its time. More impressively, Google's AI has taught itself to do this. While this may look silly, an AI has taught itself how to walk. The AI was only given incentive to reach the end of the circuit, and it has completely taught itself how to walk, run, jump, and do parkour better than some people I know. The biggest fear with artificial intelligence is that they will turn on humans and try to take over the world. Yes, somehow people believe that Siri will try to take over the world. But it can be a really big concern. Yet I propose that nowadays, AI can be more humane than we are. For example, Microsoft created an AI in 2016, which they placed as a bot on Twitter. The bot would stay open and wait for tweets. It would then learn from what people were telling it and become more and more like the majority. No problems there, right? Wrong. After 24 hours, Microsoft was forced to shut the software down and delete all posted tweets. Now, why would Microsoft need to take such drastic measures when they were only trying to do research? Because this is what the majority of people looked like. We're all so caught up living in hate of one another that we can't even have a pleasant conversation with a fascinating invention online without turning to racism, sexism, etc. AI isn't the problem. We are. An AI you create is like a blank slate. It won't randomly turn on us unless you give it reason to. AI is fascinating to learn about. And I could stand here all day talking about such technologies that will revolutionize the world. But that isn't the point of this TED Talk. Going back to my original point of conversation, there are many reasons why I believe that AI may overtake teachers. But I'd like to propose a small plan of how AI will be able to do so. Firstly, to enable communication between the student and the AI, a chip could be in place in the student's brain, able to read signals going from neuron to neuron. The AI would then be able to extrapolate this data to better understand the students in their class. Following an algorithm, the AI would then be able to create lesson plans to effectively teach each individual student. The AI would then be able to comprehend how the student is learning and spend the correct amount of time on each different course, allowing for personalized learning 
like never before. Now, I see all the teachers in the room staring at me. Some fearful they might lose their jobs due to AI, some skeptical at the fact that AI may be able to teach students at all, and some may be downright angry at me for making this presentation here today about this topic. So I'd like to propose a short-term compromise while we wait for an AI to be produced that's powerful enough to deal with a class of screaming first graders. Teacher-assisted artificial intelligence. This would follow the same idea as an AI-only teaching method, except the AI, the teacher, would be able to use the data created by the AI to not only better understand their students, but also to quantitatively measure their students' learning and the evolution of the students' learning throughout the year, and not base their sole judgment off an IBDP exam where the students crammed so hard the night before that they basically fell asleep while taking the test. Teaching through artificial intelligence will not only be cheaper, but it may be more effective, since it will actually have unbiased opinions about the world around us. And teaching through teacher-assisted artificial intelligence may provide a short-term compromise or maybe a happier middle between these two extremities. This is the type of empathy and love that we need to teach our children so that we may finally be unified. And this picture may not be possible without AI. The world tries to teach students to be helpful, caring, and open-minded, yet we're also caught up screaming at one another to see past all the hate. AI may be our one way out. A solution for principled, effective learning without trying to place kids into boxes since the start of their lives due to race, grades, and political views. And this process isn't as far away as you might think. Scientists have already started to understand the neural pathways that make up your brain and how we process, understand, and store information. The world is changing. Many industries have already been revolutionized through the influence of artificial intelligence, and sooner or later, schools may catch up too. Thank you.